Thank you very much for asking the question. And first of all, thank you for inviting me. It's my first time in Belgrade and I'm delighted to meet with you and other colleagues and students. Um, yes, I do support such a movement. I wish it were a global movement. I'm not sure it's uh, already the case, but there have been uh, <coughs> interesting and I would say converging uh, initiatives in uh, different parts of the world. Uh, I myself uh, teach in, uh, in, still teach in France, in Europe, I teach in the United States and I've seen that this, uh, this, uh, this idea is supported uh, in, 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 in many different places. I think this is not uh, of course uh, by chance because we are uh, uh, today in a, a moment in which very radical, sometimes very brutal changes are taking place uh, in the uh, um, uh, in this in the educational system, and especially in the higher education. So, um, uh, in this field, as in many others, including uh, culture in general or social services, a wide range of uh, um, uh, of fields, the criteria of uh, economic uh, and utilitarian uh, profit uh, are uh, increasingly dominant. Uh, the budgetary crisis of uh, uh, states or uh, um, uh, regions and municipalities are uh, used as uh, um, pretexts, in fact, to uh, uh, cut the, the public funding or to um, uh, transfer uh, educational uh, um, uh, activities to uh, either privatized uh, uh, institutions or to public institutions which are public only uh, uh, nominally but they now work according to uh, uh, um, uh, uh, private profit uh, uh, criteria. Uh, so basically I think this is catastrophic. There certainly is a need and we'll return to that to uh, uh, modernize the educational system, to adapt to a new historical conjuncture in which the, the uh, uh, transnational dimension is becoming increasingly important, in which some new uh, forms of communication are uh, uh, increasingly uh, 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 important for culture. It's no longer only uh, reading books or uh, learning uh, uh, humanities in the old sense or, or pure sciences. There are new fields there are new conditions. But the fact that uh, uh, this uh, 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 historic uh, uh, change would lead to a complete subjection of the educational system to pure uh, 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 profit uh, um, uh, logics is uh, uh, really uh, uh, catastrophic. It's catastrophic for the students, it's catastrophic for the uh, 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 professors and the teachers, and it's catastrophic for the cultural standard it, uh, itself. So when the English students massively uh, 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 protest, sometimes they are accused of protesting violently. Uh, there would be a lot to be said about the violence which most of the time comes from the uh, either from provocators or from police forces and not from the students themselves. But the violence is not the, the, the important fact. The important fact is that this uh, 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 transformation is now uh, essentially uh, um, uh, pushed by uh, uh, governments and other economic forces against against the most basic rights, if you like, of uh, um, uh, uh, the young generation and the, and the population as such. So I believe that we must find an alternative, and this alternative will not be only to uh, uh, repeat uh, negative slogans. We we need to invent uh, uh, new forms of higher education, which gives a new content and new meaning to the meaning to the notion of public I mean, uh, and and that has to be done uh, through the coordination of uh, uh, movements uh, uh, that you were referring to Okay, uh, again this this is a complex web of different questions. I think I 
had uh, um, it would be uh, clearer if I um, uh, explain right away that uh, I am myself a very committed uh, internationalist so uh, my perspective um, both uh, intellectually if you like philosophically morally and also uh, politically is um, uh, 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 an internationalist or transnationalist uh, 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 perspective. This being said, I uh, am very sensible to the argument that uh, nation states or some nation states um, uh, uh, have been and to some extent remain uh, until today the only uh, place where democratic processes, democratic control of the of the government, uh, counter powers, if you like, uh, um, which uh, uh, prevent the economic system from becoming entirely uh, uh, oligarchic and technocratic uh, uh, can take place. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, this has to do, I believe it's a little bit philosophical, but uh, I think uh, everybody can um, uh, join this conversation with the um, uh, complex meaning of the notion people. Uh, the, the notion of the people. Some anthropologists ask us to distinguish between two notions of the people, what they call the ethnic notion, the ethnos, the ethnic notion of the people, people what they call the civic notion of the people, sometimes uh, uh, designated as demos, which also indicates a link to the democratic uh, uh, um, uh, tradition and constitution. What I believe is in fact these are are uh, important distinctions and especially in as much as they um, uh, uh, lead us to imagine that the democratic element could also uh, emerge and uh, 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 crystallize and become active in other um, limits or boundaries or frameworks than the purely national uh, um, uh, limits. But in practice, in practice, they are continuously uh, uh, merged or uh, um, uh, combined with one uh, another. And this, of course, has to do with the fact that democracy is a very unstable uh, uh, regime. Perhaps it's not even a regime. Uh, what you have, in fact, in politics is a permanent conflict uh, between uh, 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 tendencies towards lesser democracy, more uh, uh, technocratic, more oligarchic uh, forms of government, and greater forms of popular participation and popular uh, uh, control. So the fact is that uh, uh, in the history of the last two centuries, the 19th century, the 20th century, uh, um, the relative advances of democratization against uh, de-democratization or oligarchic uh, uh, forms of government took place in the national framework. Uh, there were, uh, uh, of course, dramatic events which led to that. The popular fronts, the revolutions here, um, uh, um, the consequences of, of wars and things like that. And the whole question is whether we are today still in a situation where the, 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 the democratic processes can live and uh, uh, gain strength in a purely national uh, um, uh, framework or need to be um, uh, reinitiated and, and, and developed again in a, in a broader uh, framework. There's nothing automatic in there. Huh? It's not because you create a European Union that it will become more democratic than the national uh, 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 countries themselves. Therefore, I understand to some extent why some people, not only on the right, not only uh, extreme nationalists, but people on the left uh, stick to the idea of national sovereignty because they believe that this is the place where the people in the civic sense 
keeps uh, having some weight. In fact, I believe that globalization is depriving people, s isolated people, increasingly from their capacity to uh, uh, influence their uh, country's politics. And I believe that democracy is now a, 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 a goal, a problem that needs to be uh, uh, achieved at many different levels. Uh, uh, this is not like uh, a phenomenon of uh, um, uh, vases, you know, uh, uh, vessels uh, uh, between which something fixed like democracy would shift. If it's not, if it's at the national level, it will not be at the transnational level or conversely. Wherever there are powers, uh, and like it or not, politics is a matter of power, economic powers, executive power, repressive powers, even cultural powers, you need a popular participation, you need counter. Uh, 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 powers. Otherwise, uh, uh, it's the oligarchic principle that will uh, uh, reign. And we need counter powers at the local level. We need counter powers uh, or democratic interventions at the national le level. And we need it at the uh, European or transnational level. And these different uh, 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 processes will not be separated from one another. So more democracy at the national level, more democracy at the uh, uh, transnational uh, uh, European level, otherwise it will uh, um, uh, it will become uh, it will regress. In fact, at every level. Ah, you read <laughs> you read my 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 book or part of it. Huh? Systemic violence is, uh, is, is an important concept. People tend to uh, uh, focus, I mean, because this is on the media, this is on, uh, this is what, uh, what is most visible, I would say, you know, uh, to focus on uh, 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 moments of uh, eruption, if you like, of extreme uh, violence. In fact, there are many different types of violence. Eh? Uh, um, uh, um, uh, the fact that uh, a flood or a, a tsunami in uh, impoverished regions uh, kills uh, hundreds of thousands of people seems to be a purely natural phenomenon, but it has social uh, uh, causes as well. Eh? Uh, so there are different forms of violence, but people tend to be focused on, uh, uh, I'd say, spectacular, spect catastrophic uh, uh, forms of uh, um, uh, extreme violence. I'm not underestimating this, but I think that we must also uh, uh, be aware that there are uh, 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 systemic or forms of uh, uh, structural violence which are less visible and permanently uh, there. So huge social inequalities, for example, uh, are and lead to uh, extreme violence. Um, uh, forms of uh, oppressions of uh, uh, ethnic or religious minorities, the subjection of women uh, in, in fact, every part of the world, even the developed world is not uh, uh, yet uh, uh, beyond that, uh, cover uh, um, uh, uh, local, domestic or even collective uh, uh, forms of structural violence. Uh, this is something that uh, uh, we learned from Marxism. We have to broaden the uh, framework, the analytic framework provided by Marxism, recognize that there are other forms of domination and extreme violence than the pure economic uh, uh, one, but also not forget uh, 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 that one, and uh, uh, try and uh, understand the circumstances, the historic circumstances, which uh, uh, lead, if you like, from latent, hidden, invisible structural violence to uh, uh, spectacular uh, 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 eruptions and uh, uh, events. Now, whether this can take place in uh, Europe today, uh, well, I'd say that it's already the case. I mean, you have forms of persecutions. If you go to uh, 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 the neighborhoods called
called the banlieue in uh, in France, where you had in 2005 these uh, riots, uh, or to Britain, uh, where you had more recently uh, the same kind of uh, riots. You 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 have whole generations of young people. They are either of uh, uh, French or more or less purely French or foreign uh, descent. The uh, rate of unemployment there is uh, 40%. Uh, the uh, public services are in scramble and suddenly, uh, uh, and they are subjected to very uh, a strong form of violent, uh, violence which leads to violent uh, uh, reactions. So it's not the case, this is not war, it's not terror, <coughs> It's a different form of violence, but it's it's there. So Europe is not immune. Europe is not immune of, uh, of, of, of violence, which is, in a sense, a permanent condition of politics.